I sure hope we're getting close to somewhere we'll warm. Yeah, I'm not sure we'll make it very long in just these t-shirts. <laughs> I've never been so c cold in my life. You lucky b bastard, Joe. I have half a mind to just take your blazer from you. Guys, this is n n no time for p p petty squabbles. We have to conserve our energy to stay warm. Wait a second, look, in the distance. Yippee, we're saved. Come on guys, let's hurry up before we freeze to death. Wow, look at this place. It's a damn winter wonderland in here. And that nice burning fire, boy, does that feel good. It's hard to believe, but it's really almost Christmas. We've been on this whole saving all of reality quest for so long. It's easy to lose track of time. I would love to be home spending Christmas in Florida right about now with my family. Yeah, I feel you there, Donnie. I'm sure Michelle and my girls, hell, the entire nation is worried sick about us. They probably think we're dead if we've been gone for this long. So uh, have we just barged into someone's house? Seems like someone lives here. You're damn right someone lives here. Who the fuck said that? <clears throat> I'm right in front of you. You like to just break into people's homes, do you? You trying to make the naughty list or something? Ah! It's a creepy little gnome. A gnome? Really? Joe, that is very clearly a Christmas elf. Right. Don't ever get me mixed up with one of those dirty gnomes ever again. Great, and he's racist against gnomes, too. But for real, how is this possible? Just what is going on here? What? You've never seen an elf on the shelf before? Uh, yeah, fake elves that you buy from Walmart. Fake? Nah, mate. Those are disguises. How else do you think the big man keeps an eye on everyone? He can't do it all on his own. We're his eyes and ears out there. The big man? It, you don't mean Santa? Joe, Santa isn't real. This is clearly some tweaker with a birth defect. Not real? Buddy, you're lucky I have a bit of restraint. Or else I'd have to put the hurt on you. Now, I'll ask again. What are you blokes doing in my home? Well, we didn't mean to intrude, Mr. Uh... My name's Larry. Larry? I was expecting something like Buddy or Happy or something more elf-like. Oh, something more elf-like, huh? Well, gee, you must have spent many hours at elf practice to learn what qualifies as an elf-like name. Sorry, just ignore George here, Larry. As I was saying, we went through this blue portal and it brought us to wherever the hell this is. And as you can see, we're not really dressed for the snow. So as soon as we saw this place, we just came inside for warmth. A blue portal, you say? Hmm, that could only mean one thing. Listen here, you four. I hate to ask humans for help, but it seems I have no other choice. The entirety of Christmas depends on it. Oh, hell no. I just want to go home, not be dragged into another crazy adventure. But Donald, didn't you hear the man, all of Christmas depends on us? And I can buy anything I want for Christmas. I'm a billionaire for crying out loud. Okay, Scrooge. Christmas is about more than the presents. It's a magical time of year. And if we don't help out, billions of people worldwide may never get to celebrate Christmas again. Ah, uh, fine. What do we need to do, Larry? I'll explain on the way there. I seriously hope you don't expect us to go back out into the cold, do you? Oh, right. I forget you humans are sensitive little babies when it comes to the cold. Fine. Hang on a second. What the hell are you doing, you little freak? Pipe down, will ya? Let me focus. I feel all tingly inside. I sure hope you know what you're doing, Larry. Of course I do. I'm Larry the fucking elf. Now stand perfectly still. Whoa, nice threads, Barack. Finally got a bit of that white privilege, I see. Oh, shut up, Donald. Still, I do look pretty good, don't I? Beats my old tan suit, that's for sure. Well, my new look is pretty simple. Thankfully, I don't like to be extra around the holidays, and it'll keep my head nice and toasty. What the hell, Larry? Why am I wearing a fucking jack-o'-lantern sweater? Well, my bad. Even I make mistakes. Truth be told, I never wanted to be an elf. I've always wanted to be a dentist. Don't worry. Joe will get over it. I assume these new clothes aren't just for looks, though, correct? They're made out of magical thread, and they'll keep you warm in even the most frigid of temperatures. Traversing the North Pole won't be a problem for you lot now. So we really are at the North Pole, huh? Well, thank you, Larry. These will come in handy. 
My black ass is not meant for the cold. Well, now that that's settled, we can get a move on. Santa's workshop isn't far from here, and time is of the essence. All right, guess we're doing this. We're really going to Santa's workshop. This may just be the craziest day of our lives, which is really saying something considering all we've been through. I just hope I don't look like too much of a dope in front of Santa with this stupid sweater. I've always been a believer. I'm sure your outfit will be the least of your worries when it comes to looking like a dullard in front of Santa. Anyways, let's mosey on out of here. Well, these clothes definitely make a huge difference. It feels like it's 80 degrees out here. You're welcome. That's some genuine elf magic for you. A uh, question for you, Larry. I know elves are supposed to be small, but you're like super small. Is that common? You're right. Most elves are about half the height of an average human. Very rarely, though. Some of us are born this size and are outcasts among elf kind. We can't help in the workshop, you see. I want to change public perception on us little guys, though. So I'm hoping by fixing things, I'll gain the respect I deserve. Plus, I really don't want to be confused with gnomes anymore. What's with the gnome hatred? Well, I met this one gnome named Melvin, right? Real creepy bugger. Just rubbed me the wrong way. That was my one, and thankfully only encounter with one of those ugly little wackos. Okay then, seems a bit racist, but whatever. So what's exactly going down in Santa's workshop that requires our help? I'm glad you asked. It's a real shit show. First of all, Santa's missing. We haven't seen him in about a month. It's like he just up and vanished. That's horrible. Aye. And to make matters worse, this weird guy comes in saying that he's in charge of the workshop now. That Santa retired, but I don't believe it for a second. Calls himself the Toy Maker. Apparently he has a bit of history with the workshop, so most of the elves just took his word for it. But he has turned the place into a sweatshop. Conditions are horrible, and wages are unfair. The joy that used to permeate the air has been sucked out. Quality of the toys made have been reduced. Hell, we've started importing stuff from China, and letters from children are no longer being delivered. I can see why you've enlisted the help of the presidential zomboys then. We'll talk to this toy maker and force him to spill the beans. Well, it wasn't me who reached out to you. That portal you mentioned? That's something Santa has been known to do. Now that you mention it, you four do look a bit familiar. You guys are U.S. presidents, right? Yes, sir. And we've been traveling the multiverse for quite a while now, usually fighting hordes of zombies or whatever else comes our way. Our lives have been pretty tough. I see. Well, if he's truly alive, then I see why Santa reached out to you. You see, the toy maker hasn't been impressed with the way things have been going down in the workshop since he took over for obvious reasons. He released a mysterious compound into the water supply, and a large number of elves have become what can only be described as undead. Sounds right up our alley, then. I might feel a little bad about killing zombie elves, though. Once we find out Santa's whereabouts, he'll be able to turn things right. Anyways, the workshop is just a little bit further ahead. I'd keep a weapon handy if I were you. The place will likely be crawling with zombies. And do not underestimate the toy maker. He isn't a mere mortal. He's attained some of Santa's powers, and will do God knows what with them. Well, he's about to meet his match then, because we've defeated demons and wannabe gods. We'll show him who's boss. Look, guys, there's the workshop. <gasps> Zombie elves! No time for crying, Joe. Lock and load. I still can't believe we're about to enter Santa's workshop. I've dreamed about this ever since I was a little kid back in 18-odd-6. Of course, back then, Santa wasn't known for his red outfit and white beard. That look was invented by Coca-Cola in the 1930s. Wow. Thanks for the history lesson, Ghost of Christmas Past. But I think we have bigger things to worry about, like the zombified elves. I wonder if Element 115 is responsible for turning the elves into zombies. Element 115? Never heard of it. Either way, we're not here to sightsee. We have to get inside and confront the toy maker. So, uh, Larry, are you gonna be chilling on my shoulder the entire time? 
Don't worry, Georgie. You won't even know I'm here. Besides, the last thing I want is to be stepped on. I heard Donald likes to be stepped on by Russian prostitutes. Fake news, Obunga. Oh, what's this? Yo, Joe, this present is for you. Really? I hope it's a pack of Depends. Speed boost. Oh, man. It was just a power-up. Yeah, but whose voice was that announcing the power-up? Never heard that one before. That was the toy maker. We must hurry inside and confront him. It's Christmas Eve. We're running out of time. You heard the elf, guys. Let's go. This toy maker is going to get a piece of my mind for trying to ruin Christmas. Shit, more zombies. Let's head inside, quick. Holy crap. Someone pinched me. I must be dreaming. Ow! Donald, it was a figure of speech. Oh, my bad, Joe. I totally didn't know that. So this is it, huh? Santa's workshop. Looks pretty desolate, considering it's Christmas Eve. So we just need to figure out where this toy maker is, then. Looking for me, are you? Hey, who said that? Show yourself. Welcome, presidential zomboys. I do hope my workers weren't too much of a bother on the way in. They get a bit cranky when they're hungry. That's him, all right. That's that rotten toy maker. Such harsh words, my small friend. You wound me. Now, hold on a second. You called us the presidential zomboys. How do you know who we are? Because it is my job to know. Oh, yes, I have been watching you for a long time. I know things about you that you wouldn't believe, like how President Biden still wets the bed. That's pretty damn believable. Now, are you going to step aside peacefully, or are we going to have to do this the hard way? And why would I do that? There's much work to be done. After all, tomorrow is Christmas. You and I both know you don't give a damn about Christmas. Now, I don't know what you did to Santa, but you better believe we're going to find out. I haven't done anything to him. He left of his own free will. He finally recognized my genius, it seems. Liar! Believe what you want, little elf. It matters not. This was fun, but I must get back to my work. With all of the elves around here succumbing to Element 115, I must finish the preparations for the last Christmas. The last Christmas? Unless you're talking about the song, then I don't like the sounds of that. No time to explain, I'm afraid, but thank you for stopping by. My workers will be sure to keep you entertained, though. Toodaloo. Well, shit, now what, Larry? We have to stop him, obviously. And I know just what we need to do. For now, try not to die. Damn that toy maker. Nobody can replace Santa, especially that hipster-looking freak. Joe, aren't hipster weirdos like your primary voting demographic? No time for politics, you two. We have a job to do. So, Larry, what is it we need to do to defeat the toy maker? Well, first things first, you're gonna need to arm yourselves. Those dinky little pistols won't last forever. As I'm sure you know, there's a magical weapon box around here that can help you boys out. I think the toy maker created it for some sadistic reason. Well, that sure sounds familiar. We'll use his own creations against him then. Ooh, a present, and it has my name on it. Bruh, a sniper rifle? This is worse than a lump of coal. Yeah, I think I'll take my chances on the mystery box. The Razorback, I'll take it. Fetch me their souls. Oh shit, gotta get a weapon, quick. Hell must have frozen over because these hellhounds are covered in ice. I'm so sorry, little pups. I wish I didn't have to use these weapons of war against you. I can't imagine the reason for anyone to have a gun like this that holds 100 rounds in the chamber. 100 rounds in the chamber, Joe? How stupid are you? The chamber only holds one round. I really don't think you should speak on gun control ever again. My point still stands. I have some sympathy for the kids who won't get to experience Christmas this year, George. But on a slightly different topic, I think I found the room where they make all the coal for kids like Donald. Damn, MC Stammer, could you talk any slower? Is your age finally catching up to you? Speaking of dementia patients, I found a poster for the best Christmas movie ever, Die Hard, starring Bruce Willis. Whoa, Donald, too far. Besides, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. The fuck it isn't. How could you even say that, Barack? How the hell is an action movie like Die Hard a Christmas movie? I'm glad you asked. For starters, it takes place during a Christmas party. Not to mention the soundtrack has many Christmas staples in it, like Let It Snow and Winter Wonderland. And at the end of the movie, it actually snows. 
And John McClain reconciles with his family, which is a positive message for the Christmas season. Who the hell cares? Die Hard sucks anyways. Damn, George, I thought you of all people would like it, considering it's about terrorists trying to blow up a tower. Holy shit, Sleepy Joe coming in with a haymaker. But for real, the actual most goaded Christmas movie of all time is the one starring yours truly, Home Alone 2. I mean, who can forget such iconic lines such as, down the hall and to the left, Kevin McAllister would have been doomed without my help. Donald, you and I both know you were only in that movie because that was the only way you would let them use the Plaza Hotel that you owned in it. Fake news, they begged me like a dog to star in it. Enough, both of you. Your petty squabbles are giving me a damn headache. Let's take the elevator. I'm sure we'll be able to find some useful stuff upstairs. I think you're starting to rub off on him a bit, George, but you heard the man, let's go. Don't worry, Larry. I'm the coolest guy here, so it'll do you some good sticking with me. Right, whatever. I don't need lessons on being cool. Thank you very much. Damn, Santa's workshop is looking more like Santa's warehouse. What the fuck? Bathroom breaks prohibited? The toy maker is really giving the elves piss bottles like this is Amazon. Oh, you don't like my business practices. An elf's work is never done, so they can't afford to take bathroom breaks. Damn you. I promise, on behalf of every elf slaughtered today, I will make you pay. You tell him, Larry. We're gonna hit him with the force of 1,000 drone strikes. There are some weird perk drinks in this place. I've never even heard of half of these before. These special elixirs were concocted to increase productivity amongst the elves. I see. Say, Larry, what is this? Harvesting Christmas energy. That's some genuine naughty energy in there. We've repurposed naughtiness into something useful. A renewable energy source. If you free it, it can be used to power up nearby voltmeters. All right, well, it's been released. Now what? The energy will be attracted to naughty actions. In this case, killing. So in other words, slaying these freak backs. Say no more. I can slay zombies all day. Well, high as fuck might I add. You know, Barack, you remind me a lot of Santa, actually. You know, I can agree with that sentiment. I am a lot like old Saint Nick. Except instead of dropping presents out of a sleigh for children worldwide, I drop bombs on kids in the Middle East. Jesus Christ, no! I was gonna say because he likes to take a hit of that magic mistletoe, if you know what I mean. Yeah, ignore him, Larry. Obama has a fucked up sense of humor. Hey, I found some sort of doohickey. Now let's get the hell out of this cage. That looks to be like a part for the experimental new toy we were prototyping before Santa disappeared. It was deemed too dangerous for mass production, though. Maybe it could help in the fight against the toy maker. Now that you mention it, I think I found a similar looking piece in a closet earlier. If it's as dangerous as you say, then it'll be perfect to use against the toy maker and his army. Oh yeah, Larry, what is it we're looking for exactly? You said you had a plan to defeat the toy maker. That's right. There is a powerful artifact being sealed away inside Santa's vault, the snow globe. It's not your average knick-knack, though. This snow globe has the power to trap a soul inside of it. Sounds a lot like the summoning key, to be honest. Well, I found Santa's vault, but it's locked up tighter than Fort Knox. Where's the key? Santa usually kept it on his sleigh, which is parked out front. Oh, yeah, I saw that before we came inside. I think the gate was locked behind another one of those voltmeters. We'll have to find another one of those naughty essences, I think. Christmas must have come early, boys, because I just got the ray gun Mark II. Nice, Joe. I found the naughty essence in here, by the way. We can begin escorting it whenever. Oh, my stars, I must have been an extra good boy this year. I got the Blundergat, too. We can totally start escorting this naughty thingy. I'll decimate any of Santa's little helpers that try to stop me. Just remember, those are my brethren you're talking about. Try and show some respect for the dead. Didn't you say you were an outcast among the rest of the elves? Why do you even care? Doesn't mean I want them to die. Right, about that. What do you even do if you can't help in the workshop? I mostly just sit around in my cabin all day playing Fortnite. They just brought back the OG map last month and it was a blast. What? They brought back the classic map and we missed it? I have such fond memories of dropping at Trump Tower and getting so many kills. Actually, they removed Trump Tower when they brought it back. I forgot that place was named after you. What a load of bullshit. The Wokies over at Epic Games must have gotten triggered that everyone called it Trump Tower. You know, my life is a lot like Fortnite. I was cranking a 90s percent approval rating after Al-Qaeda double pumped the Twin Towers. Jeez, you four have sick senses of humor. 
I wouldn't be surprised if all of you are on the naughty list. Oh yeah, I got the ray gun Mark III. This makes up for the other George getting it when we were at Gorod. Hell yeah, Barack. Seems like Democrats stay winning today. Anyways, I've started escorting this naughty orb. That toy maker has a sick sense of humor putting a nail gun in the box. Like, this isn't even a weapon, it's a tool. Stop bitching, Donald. If it kills zombies, it's good enough. Now, let's go get Santa's vault key. We're nearly there, boys. I can't believe I get to see Santa's sleigh up close. Now, hold on a second, Joe. I thought you told us back when we were locked in that closet in Siberia that you were scared of Santa. It was a SpongeBob reference, you nincompoop. Who could be scared of Santa? I mean, he only watches your every move to make sure you're not misbehaving, knows when you're asleep or not, and breaks into your house to leave gifts. Well, Jesus, Joe, when you put it like that, he sounds like the creepiest dude in the world. Let's just open his vault already. Hey, guys, I got the last part for this toy from a present box. It looks like the winter's howl. It better do more damage than that piece of shit, though. I'm opening the vault. Let's see what Santa has locked away. All right, here we are. What kind of stuff does Santa have locked away? Well, I see a pack-a-punch machine. And, oh my goodness, the naughty and nice lists. Yo, we should see which list our names are on. Absolutely not. If you did that, I'd have to kill you. Geez, okay, we get it. Don't worry, guys, with all the good we've done this year, I'm sure we're on the nice list. We better be, or I'm gonna give Santa an uppercut and knock his stupid beard off. Will you just stop talking, Donald? Saying things like that will definitely get you on the naughty list. Anyways, look there, on the table. I'm guessing this is the magical snow globe? Aye. It looks like just an ordinary snow globe to me. That's the point. But in reality, its power is immense. It can trap souls inside, but only those of people with wickedness in their hearts. Well, Donald, you better stay away from this thing. Joe, you're the purest guy here. How about you hold on to it? Screw you, Abunga. Gee, that's a big responsibility, but you're my bro, so I trust you trust in me. Yippee, I collected a magical snow globe. Good for you, Joe. So, Larry, what's next? How can we draw the toy maker out? Well, first, you will need to get some better weapons. Perhaps take advantage of this pack-a-punch machine. The toy maker is sure to throw even tougher obstacles in your way, and your current guns just won't cut it. You'll be like Santa trying to deliver presents without Rudolph guiding him. Completely fucked. Ooh, I want to meet Rudolph. Where are the reindeer at anyways? A few of the reindeer escaped around the time the zombie outbreak happened, including old Red Nose. But they couldn't have gone too far. We keep collars on them to prevent them from flying unless they're attached to the sleigh. But that's a problem for later. For now, we deal with the toy maker. Well, you heard him. Come on, guys, let's go. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm pretty much all geared up for the battle ahead. The Ray Gun Mark II and Blundergat will make short work of the zombie elves. Aha, <laughs> get it? Short work? Because they're elves? Okay, Joe, that was just horrible. We should probably get out of this cramped ass vault before we become zombie lunch. Well, maybe I'll take just a quick peek while nobody's looking. Wait, what? My name is on the naughty list. Oh, hell no. I'd better switch them. I'm sure nobody will notice. Attention. Someone has tampered with my naughty and nice list. Emergency lockdown systems engage. Ho, ho, ho. You're going to die, fucker. Oh, no, you've done it. I told you not to fuck with the lists. Donald, your name was on the naughty list, wasn't it? Of course not. I saw your guys' names on the naughty list. I was just trying to help out. What a load of malarkey. Now we're trapped in here. Yeah, I feel like an inmate at Guantanamo Bay right now. Larry, how do we disable the force fields? That's the thing, you can't. Only Santa can do that. Great, thanks a lot, Donald. They just keep coming. Who knew Santa had so many elves? Just keep mowing them down till none remain. I'm so sorry, little guys. I hope Santa can restore you to life when we find him. If we can find him, which is going to be pretty fucking difficult when we're locked in the workshop. Wait, what the? The force fields, they've been disabled. Santa, are you here? I'm afraid not, my little friend. It is I who has released you. Please, come to the lobby. I'd like to talk. The toy maker. Guess this is it, guys. Let's go save Christmas. Oi, toy maker. Show yourself. We're ready to kick your ass. Hello again, my presidential pals. 
Toymaker, just who are you and what do you want from us? And why are you so hell-bent on ruining Christmas? I've done nothing of the sort. In fact, I'd say I've made Christmas ten times better. By turning Santa's workshop into a nightmare for the elves to work in? Yeah, you've taken all the magic out of this place. And you said earlier this was going to be the last Christmas. What are you planning? Well, when I said last Christmas, I was only partially telling the truth. Christmas as you know it will end. But I have my own plans. Just what are you planning, you rotten fiend? You see, Christmas is more than just a holiday. It's a lucrative business model. Santa spent all these years making presents for free when he could have been profiting off them. You may not know this, little elf, but I was here long before you. Around the time of the first Christmas, I was Santa's closest friend and was responsible for building all of the toys. I couldn't believe it, though, when that fat bastard told me that the billions of toys I had created would just be given out for free. Imagine the money we could have made together. So that's it, then. It's all about money to you. Normally, I'd commend you for being a wise businessman, but Christmas is about sharing joy with others, not profits. It's about righting an injustice. I tried to convince Santa that what he was doing was foolish, and what did he do? He locked me up in that damn snow globe. Luckily, the old man underestimated my power. I broke free about 30 years ago and began planning my revenge. As they say, idle hands are the devil's workshop. You probably deserved it, man. I mean, look at what you've done to this place. So many dead elves because of you. You're a monster. That's just rich, coming from you. How many bodies have you four left in your wakes? How many civilians dead in far-off lands that you wouldn't dare take responsibility for? Simply because they're not Americans. You think being president gives you immunity for your crimes? Pretty much, yeah. Shut up, Donald. Listen here, we had to make tough choices, and we're not exactly proud of every decision we made, but they were often made with the greater good in mind. Is that so? You may be able to use that excuse for your time as president, but let us take a closer look at what this greater good has gotten you. Hey, turn those lights back on. What the, where the hell have you taken us? Gaze upon the stage and bear witness to the consequences of your actions. You think you're innocent, right? Well, let's put that claim to the test. Remember poor, poor Yamato? Presidential Zomboys. Why didn't you save me? I, I thought we were friends. I see now that my life meant nothing to you, and I died for nothing. That's... that's not true. Yamato was going to die on that island whether we were there or not. But we were able to help him bring honor to his name. He died a hero, and he knew that. He helped us save George's life and was proud to be an honorary zomboy. Well, that's all right, then. And what about your other selves? Particularly the Joe, who was formerly known as Dark Brandon. He is suffering for all eternity in the Dark Aether because you four left the summoning key on the table. I knew I should have destroyed you fools when I had the chance. Curse you presidential zomboys for working with Dr. Monty and condemning me to an endless hell at the hands of court effects. Dark Brandon sacrificed himself of his own free will to atone for his past. We were able to provide him with the friendship that he longed for during his final days. He made the deal with court effects knowing one day he'd have to pay that price. Well, that's all right then. Well, I'm sure you haven't forgotten the good doctor of Brookhaven. Another good man dead because of you four's journey. And not only that, you destroyed his mind with the truth before he took his life. Why couldn't you all just let me live in blissful ignorance? I never wanted to be dragged into your madness. Dr. Cohen was a part of Dr. Monty and was created right after we beat the Shadow Man. He deserved to know the truth. While it is sad he died, he found meaning in his life at the end when we stopped Dr. Hackman. Well, that's all right then. Enough of the games, toy maker. Now clearly these boys have been through a lot. No point in making them suffer by digging up painful memories. Take us out of this charade and face us like a man. <laughs> As you wish, stupid elf. You ready to finish this, you freak? I am. I have a couple new toys I'd like you to play with. Once they hit the market, kids will be dying to own one. 
No more toys. Give up your powers and fix this mess or we end you. No can do, I'm afraid. I am a very busy man. I will take great pleasure in watching your demises, though. Farewell, presidential zomboys. Your journey ends here. Shit, what's going on? Look, over there, the giant nutcrackers are moving. Those must be what the toy maker was referring to. Well, we'll just have to break them apart. Like how Donald probably did with his toys when he didn't get his way as a kid. Oh, please, Barack. I didn't get toys. I got checks for $1 million every Christmas. Well, that explains a lot. But guys, am I the only one thinking our guns aren't even putting a dent in these guys? Let me try something. Chill out, nuthead. Ignoring that awful pun, I think that gun is working. Good shit, George. You keep turning them into popsicles and we'll destroy them. What are you doing to my lovely creations? Sending them to the metaphorical wood chipper, you creep. And when we're done with these two, we're gonna come crack your nuts. You tell them, Joe. You clearly don't know enough about us if you think two giant nutcrackers can stop us. We've defeated demons, aliens, giant spiders, and so much more. Bruh, they keep trying to drop giant chestnuts on us. Too bad this wussy toy maker's own nuts haven't dropped yet. Silence. You will not make a mockery of me, you utter buffoon. Sorry to give you guys the cold shoulder. That was just horrible. Stop joking around George and shoot the damn things. Yo, one of the nutcrackers has been destroyed. Kind of like what me and George did to the Middle East. Come on, guys, focus. We just need to take down this last one. That's big talk coming from you, Joe. Considering you lose focus every five seconds, but you are right. I'm gonna show this big wooden fuck the power of the dual wheeled rangers. Like we're in an OGMW2 game. He's frozen. Give him all you've got, fellas. Eat my ray gun, Mark II, you motherfucker. We did it, Toymaker, come on out. Your toy soldiers have been defeated. This can't be happening. I put everything into those toys. Just to be crushed by you fools. I don't understand. Why does nobody share my vision for this world? I was going to turn this workshop into an economic powerhouse like I had done back in the States. Hold on, what do you mean, like you did in the States? So it was you the whole time. I knew it. Wait, hold on. What are you talking about, Donald? Do you know something we don't? The toy maker put up a good act, but he was sloppy in concealing his identity. The clues were all there. I'm still not following. Me either. Huh, you're more perceptive than I thought, you overgrown pumpkin. Your mistake was underestimating me. It's a trap the Democrats fall in far too often, which makes sense, considering you are one. Hold on, just what are you talking about, Donald? Spill the beans already. I'll let him do it. The jig is up. Take off that stupid disguise. Guess there's no point in it anymore. My plans are ruined thanks to you. Jeff Bezos? I can't believe it, but why? And more importantly, how? I wasn't lying earlier. At one point, I was the toy maker here at Santa's factory, and he did trap me in that damn snow globe. I managed to escape, however, and after that, I played the waiting game. I built up my company at Amazon, which would help me get my revenge. You see, despite his existence, as people grow older, they tend to lose faith in Santa Claus. And who do they turn to on Christmas to deliver them their holiday cheer? I must admit, Amazon Prime is pretty handy. Exactly. With the people's faith in me on Christmas instead of Santa, I inherited his powers. 20 years building up my company led to this moment. I confronted the red bastard, and he knew he couldn't stop me, so I sent him packing only so he could live long enough to see his centuries of work undone. Why couldn't you just be happy with what you had? You're one of the richest men alive, for goodness sake. This is supposed to be the season of giving, not taking. Nobody ever cared about what was taken from me. Centuries I was locked in that snow globe, and to see the workshop I used to run be taken over by you stupid, ugly elves made me sick. Look in a mirror before you call someone ugly. Your soul is tainted by corporate greed, and maybe a few thousand more years inside the snow globe can melt the ice surrounding your cold, dead heart. That's my boy. You just roasted the fuck out of him, Larry. You're insane if you think I'm going back inside that thing. The people still love me. Love Amazon. They may find your little service helpful, but I'm going to convince Santa to go public about everything. His existence, your real identity, and the crimes you've committed. Now, President Biden, shine the snow globe's light on Jeff's wicked soul. You got it, Larry? 
No, please, keep that thing away from me. I am Jeff fucking Bezos. Let me the hell out of here. You can't do this to me. Sorry, little guy. Don't worry, maybe with good behavior, you'll get out one day. We did it. The workshop is saved. Aye, that it is. You all did a huge service for me. And all of the elves here. Unfortunately, there is still work to be done. That's right, Santa is still missing. How are we going to find him, Larry? Nearby, there is a small remote village that Santa has been known to frequent. It's where many of the elves live and is also home to the reindeer stables. There's a good chance, at the very least, the reindeer are there. And if we're lucky, Santa as well. Could you all go check it out for me? Well, I don't think we have much of a choice. We can't go this year without Santa. Thank you, Presidential Zomboys. I'm not sure if I'll see you four again. So truly, thank you for everything. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss having you around on my shoulder. Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it? Oh, and I'm going to send Santa's sleigh down to the village, just in case you find him and have to make a quick retreat. Time is of the essence, after all. All right, well, uh, how do we get to this village? With some good old elf magic, of course. Hold still, and I'll send you there in a jiffy. Ugh, teleportation will never fail to make me sick. Stop being a pussy, Obama. You should be used to it by now. Well, this must be the place. We're inside some sort of cabin, though. Hello, can you boys hear me? Larry, is that you? Aye. You're smack dab in the middle of the town. Unfortunately, I sent zombies in your immediate area. Well, that's nothing new. Got any good news for us, Lair? As a matter of fact, I do. A couple surviving elves have made their way back to the workshop. And they said Santa's reindeer were spotted in the area, and that they've noticed their milk and cookies go missing from their homes. That sounds like the work of Mr. Claus to me. That's great news. Well, we better get a move on and find our missing Santa. Thank you, and Godspeed, my friends. Yo, what the hell happened to our overpowered weapons? Since they were created with the magic of the toy maker, once he was sealed away and his powers were stripped from him, they simply ceased to be. Oh, man. I mean, at least these pistols were just lying around, but I sure do miss my blundergat. I suppose Element 115 has infected the area as well. I really hope Santa can fix this when we find him. I'm sure he can. I mean, he's fucking Santa Claus. Yo, boys, I found an ax on the wall. Well, we're kind of getting surrounded here, so maybe use that ax to bust down the wood that's blocking the way out. Good thinking, Barry. There we go. Joe, the lumberjack has freed you all. Yeah, OK, thanks, lumberjack ass. Wow, look at this place. Can you imagine living in the North Pole where it snows all the time? Yeah, I didn't realize they had trailer parks in the North Pole, though. Surely the people who live in this dump voted for Trump. Fuck you, Obama. Not my fault I connect to the average Joe instead of coastal elites like you and Sleepy Joe. Stop debating, you two. Focus on the zombies trying to eat our brains. Remember, guys, keep an eye out for reindeer and any signs of Santa. Head deeper into the town. I'm sure you'll have better luck there. All right, Lair, thanks for the heads up. Shit, there's a fallen tree in the way. This looks like a job for Lumberjack Joe. Just call me George Washington the way I chopped that tree. Oh, shit, it's a reindeer. Get back here. You'll have to lure the reindeer back to the stables. Uh-huh, and how do we do that? He looks pretty content right here. Maybe grab a handful of reindeer chow at the feeders by the stables. Ooh, another present. Yay, double points. Uh, doesn't this place look a bit familiar? What the hell? It's the diner from the best zombies map of all time. How is this even possible? Uh, I don't know, but there are scary elves after us, and these ones are Larry-sized. Yeah, plus they're terrorist elves trying to blow themselves up on us. Don't let them get close. I'm going to show these elves what a Texan goodbye looks like. Whew, seems like that's the last of them for now. What a nice and cozy little diner. I wouldn't mind having Christmas dinner here if the place wasn't overrun by zombies. Found another one of Santa's reindeer. Ah, I'm being chased by a little nutcracker. Must have been an early version of the bigger ones the Bezos made that somehow ended up here. Well, I don't like them one bit. Well, I grabbed some reindeer food from the feeder. Let's see if Blitzen or Donner or whichever fucking one this is will follow. What the, a wolf? 
Oh shit, there's more. They're trying to eat Santa's reindeer. Let's keep these furry fucks off of him. Speaking of furries, I wish I could spend Christmas with my family. I know Hunter wanted a new fur suit. Joe, we do not want to hear about your crackhead son's furry fetish. He makes a good point, though. I do wonder how our families are doing right now. I'd do anything to see my wife again. Thanks again for stopping by, Michelle. Girl, no need to thank me. It's been a tough year for all of us. I know. It just hits harder around the Christmas time. Donald did always love this time of year. And it's not easy raising Baron all by myself. You're telling me. Our girls may be grown up, but they still need their dad. I just don't understand where they could have gone. It's been eight months and not even a single sign of where they could be. I really miss Barack. Stay strong. We have to keep hoping and praying that they'll turn up. Huh. It's funny. Donald and I were talking about getting a divorce before they disappeared. But now, I just want him back with me. I'd do anything to see him again. I guess it's true what they say. You don't know what you have till it's gone. That is true. I must thank you for helping me so much since then, Michelle. I know we didn't get along well before, but the support you and the other First Ladies have shown me has been so helpful. I mean, I remember when I sold Trump Tower, you three were all here to help me move into this place. It was the least we could do. Kind of fucked up how they're making you pay off the remainder of Donald's legal fees, though. Yeah, but I think once I get a good offer on Mar-a-Lago, I'll be set. To be honest, I prefer the modest life. I never cared for all the glitz and the glamour and the gold toilets. Just got a text from Jill. She says she and Laura will be here in a bit. That is great. How about we start cooking a nice Christmas Eve meal then? I like the sound of that, girlfriend. Let's get to it then. Well, we got one reindeer back in its stable. Come on, Rudolph, it's your turn. Rudolph, I am such a huge fan. I won't let anything happen to you. I remember me and my pop and my brothers watching your Christmas special as a kid. That abominable snowman scared me so much, but I loved how brave you, Hermie, and Cornelius Yukon were. Joe, how the fuck do you remember details from over 50 years ago, but you can't even remember what you had for breakfast this morning? The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. The only enigma here is how you got elected president at all, Joe. Anyways, got old Red Nose to his stable. Great. There are only two reindeer left unaccounted for now. That's good. Still no sign of Santa, though. Look out, zombies. George W. Bush is coming through. Shit, I'm stuck. George, you look ridiculous. What are you doing on that thing? Listen, I haven't been behind the wheel in a hot minute, considering Secret Service drives me everywhere. That sure looks like fun. Can I have a turn? You're not there to have fun. You're there to save Christmas. And time is ticking before Santa is scheduled to make his flight. Yeah, yeah, we know. We found another one of your lost reindeer, by the way. God damn, where are all these wolves coming from? Come on, Dancer, you're almost there. OK, just one more, and we know he was up by the trailer park. Oh, no, more of those scary little elves are here. I think we could add some of these explosive little imps to the US arsenal. Can you imagine these little guys running towards a Middle Eastern hospital and blowing it the fuck up? You know what, Barack, I actually don't want to imagine that. Thank you very much. I would love to come back here when there isn't a zombie outbreak. I mean, it's a true winter wonderland. Yeah, it really does remind me of playing in the snow as a kid. There's just a certain whimsy to Christmas that never gets old. Wow. You really love Christmas, don't you, Donnie? I was sure that you were one of those Ebenezer Scrooge types who would let Tiny Tim die if it meant making a buck. Oh, Bunga, you fool, don't you remember? In the epic rap battles of history series, I literally rapped against Scrooge about how greedy he was. I mean, hell, they put me in that series three times. You know who else was in that series three times? Adolf Hitler and Darth Vader. Sounds like you had some good company, all right. Ooh, I just got a wonder weapon from the box, I think. Yeah, it's just a shitty Wonder Waffle ripoff. I got rid of that shit for the Thunder Gun. Oh shit, the reindeer just fucking died. Guess he won't be joining in any reindeer games. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
Poor Donna. I'm so sorry. Christmas is ruined. Wait, he's alive. It's a Christmas miracle. No kidding. The reindeer can't really die. They're magic. But if they take too much damage, they'll essentially turn back time for themselves so you can start the escort over again. I see. Well, let's not fuck it up this time, boys. I just want to know why this reindeer is moving slower than the vote counting in Arizona. Like, how does Santa hit every house in one night if this reindeer won't even move to save his ass from getting eaten by wolves? Santa really needs to hire Olive, the other reindeer. I mean, sure, she's a dog, but she made it to the North Pole in a single day. Talk about serious dedication. Man, talk about a throwback, Donald. I completely forgot about that Christmas classic. Why are you two grown-ass men talking about a children's cartoon movie with such delight? George, you need to stop being so judgmental before you end up on the naughty list. Oh, look, it's one of those shoot 'em up galleries. Do we really have time for this? Don't listen to him, Joe. Go for the grand prize. What did I win? Oh, whoa, this seems powerful. Looks like it's called the Forge Freeze. Wasn't this on Zombies in Spaceland or something? Oh, my God. What, well, Donnie, are you jealous? Don't do it, Donald. You swine, you vulgar little maggot, you worthless bag of filth. You couldn't pour water out of a boot with instructions printed on the heel. You are a canker, an open wound. I would rather kiss a lawyer than to be seen with you. You're a putrescent mass, a walking vomit. You are a spineless little worm, deserving nothing but the profoundest contempt. You are a jerk, a cad, and a weasel. I take that back. You are a festering pustule on a weasel's rump. Your life is a monument of stupidity. You are a stench, a revulsion, an overflowing latrine of big suck on a sour lemon. I will never get over the embarrassment of belonging to the same species as you. You are a monster, an ogre, a malformity. I barf at the very thought of you. You have all the appeal of a paper cut. Lepers avoid you. You are vile, less than nothing. Go eat shit and die. <laughs> Why would you say all that? Sleepy the Forge Freeze fucking sucks. Yeah, but was all that other stuff necessary? Are you really that surprised you're on the naughty list, Donald? It's okay, Joe. You're not the first you to cry at that line. Anyways, we have packed guns now, so we'll at least stand a fighting chance against the zombies and anything else that comes our way. Yeah, we still need to find Santa, though. Any clue where he might be, Larry? Actually, while you were busy roasting each other and whatnot, I interrogated Jeff Bezos. He told me he knew where Santa was the whole time. Yeah, hold that thought, Larry. I think I hear someone talking to me. Why, if it isn't one of the presidential zomboys, I never thought I'd see you again. Aren't you that robot who helped my friends out at the hospital? Indeed, but alas, my arms and legs have again been taken from me. Back to being a limbless freak. Ted, buddy, never thought we'd see you again. How the hell did you wind up here? I have no clue. There was a huge flash of light, and suddenly I was here. I think maybe the little girl had something to do with it. Maybe she feared me. Well, it doesn't look like you're much to fear anymore. Please, take me with you. No can do, Ted. We have to save Christmas. Urgent stuff. Good seeing you, though. Get back here, you black son of a bitch. Kind of fucked up leaving him here after he helped us out, but I guess he is a robot, so he doesn't have feelings. Anyways, Lara, what were you saying about Santa? There's a frozen lake up ahead with a hole in it. According to the toy maker, Santa has been taking refuge in there. Unfortunately, I'm all tapped out of magic power. So you will be on your own now. And I won't be able to communicate with you. Good luck. And please, save Santa. Damn. Larry's advice has been pretty solid so far, but at least we know where Santa is. You guys ready to go meet the big guy? Well, I have a packed PPSA, so if shit goes sideways, I'd say I'll be ready. Looks like there are some bobsleds up ahead to take us down into this hole. Kind of sus, but I guess we have no choice. This will be so fun. I love sledding. Here goes nothing. Uh, hello? You hear Santa? This place sure is creepy. Who goes there? Who said that? It's been so long. Guys, look. <coughs> you have come for me, haven't you? Santa? Is that you? Something sounds off about him. Are you okay? I've never felt better, but I am ho 
hungry. Ah! Oh no, Santa has been zombified. Well, what are we gonna do? You are going to be my next meal. And then I will devour all the naughty children. Get ready for a fight, guys. I don't think he's gonna go down easy. Santa, you don't have to do this. Come back to the workshop, we can help you. I must devour you, I'm afraid. Ho, ho, ho. He's sending some explosive candy cane balls after us. And he's got some sort of force field up. How are we supposed to stop him? I just worry about surviving for now. I do not want to get eaten like a plate of cookies and milk. Yeah, I mean, not like we can kill him. We're here to save Santa. Watch out, more of his undead elves are here. Bring their bodies to me, my minions. <coughs> Did you all hear that? Santa sounds like he has a bad cough. Maybe he has a new extreme zombie-like COVID variant. Joe, what are you yapping about now? Well, I never leave home with less than three booster shots. Maybe if we can get close enough to Santa, we can stick him with a vaccine and cure him. You know, that's so batshit insane, it just might work. Look for an opening then, boys. Shit, where'd he go? So hungry. Santa's trying to eat Joe's ass. Shoot the hell out of him. <laughs> He's knocked down. Time for your shot, Santa. How you feeling? I will hang your intestines like stockings over my fireplace. Ho, ho, ho! I think you just pissed him off more, Joe. Great, and now he's turned out the lights, too. We have to try again. Maybe he just needs a more powerful dose. Listen, I know I fought the left's war on Christmas, but this is getting ridiculous. Keep fighting, my brothers. We have to live to see another Christmas with our families and to save Christmas for every family in the world. Except Middle Eastern ones, of course. I'm too focused on killing these jolly skeletons to even tell you how fucked up that was, Barack. Santa, even though I should want you dead for always bringing me coal as a kid, the world needs you. I need you to roll over and die so I may consume your corpse. I don't think you're getting through to him, Donald. Oh, and Donnie, you were wrong about one thing. This forge freeze is fucking awesome. Fake news, Joe. I'm never wrong. Enough with the petty squabbles. Here comes Santa. Let the father of the vaccine show you how it's done, Joe. Did it work, Mr. Father of the Vaccine? How the hell should I know? I don't think it worked, Donald. And he's coming closer. <laughs> ah, someone shot Santa. I mean, they probably saved our life. Hey, whoever's there, show yourself. Sorry you four got wrapped up in all this drama like a Christmas present under the tree. Hey, boy, step into the light so we can get a better look at you. So you four are the presidential zomboys I've heard so much about. Who the fuck are you? Well, who do I look like, the damn Easter Bunny? Guys, I don't know why or how, but I think this is Santa Claus. I think an explanation is definitely in order here. I mean, we saw posters hanging up at the workshop of white, fat, bearded Santa. You sure did, Barack. You see, the whole concept of white Santa has been a psyop on my part. The world just simply wasn't ready back when I started this whole Christmas gig for a black Santa. Hell, our people were still in chains, brother. Oh, hell no. Christmas has gone woke. Santa is supposed to be a fat old white guy like me. Did you not just hear a word out of his mouth, Donald? Besides, diversity is a good thing. Not like anyone ever sees what the real Santa looks like anyways. He shows up when you're asleep. And that's why you're on the nice list, Mr. President. But for real, can you imagine how people would react if they knew a black guy was going to sneak into their house at night to leave gifts? My ass would get shot. So who the hell was that guy you just murked then? Oh, that was just a mall Santa I hire for this time of the year. See, I stay away from the workshop until Christmas, and I'll send this guy to basically boss the elves around. Then when it's time to fly, we'll switch places. They may not seem like it, but those elves haven't always been racially conscious. Though now, I suppose I have no choice but to tell them the truth. As soon as I heard that the toy maker had taken over the factory and this chump was bitten by a zombie, I knew I'd have to step in. My mind is officially blown, but black or white, it's good to know the real Santa's alive. Sucks for this fake, though. Don't worry, dude's old as fuck anyways. He's been my stand-in for the last couple centuries. He had a good life. Poor Mrs. Claus is gonna be heartbroken, though, especially since I'll have to evict her ass. Geez, that's kind of harsh. So is there a black Mrs. Claus as well? I ain't the type to settle down. I just have a harem of ho-ho-hos. Oh, I see what you did there. 
Anyways, Christmas is saved now, right? Faux shizzle. Thank you all, presidential zomboys. Even you, Donald. You've earned yourself a spot on the nice list. Is there anything special you want for Christmas? Uh, yeah. Uh, we want to go home to our lives, our families. Yeah? I was afraid you were gonna say that. I'm sorry, but that's just not possible. Why the hell not? Do you know how much we've suffered? Yeah, I know, dog. You four have traveled the multiverse, stopped some pretty powerful villains, and slain countless zombies. And that's precisely why you can't go home yet. Your destiny is to complete the quest you are on. We never asked for any of this. Dr. Monty used us from the start. Yeah, that Dr. Monty is a certified bitch. To be honest, in a 1v1, I could take him. But unfortunately, as the Keeper of Christmas, I'm not capable of violence. Okay, well, Santa, what are we supposed to do now? Where do we go from here? In order to defeat Monty and fix the multiverse, you're gonna need a few things. They're called Sentinel Artifacts. You know what I'm talking about, right? Please tell me you're joking, Santa. Don't tell me chaos is canon to real life. Unless, of course, you have them stashed away in your bag. Afraid not. I'll be able to point you in the right direction, but for now, we celebrate Christmas. You all deserve a break, even if it's a short one. Especially for helping out in my time of need. How would you all like to join me on my sleigh ride tonight? Ooh, please, can we guys? This will be a dream come true. Well, it'll definitely take my mind off the fact that we'll probably have to go on the Titanic soon. Fuck it, we're game, Santa. Okay, great. We can just head back to the workshop and get my sleigh then. Actually, Larry the Elf already brought it to the village. It's right up top. Little Larry did that? I'm impressed. I've watched him over the years from a distance. He never seemed all that important. Trust us, Santa, we wouldn't have made it here without his guidance. He deserves a promotion or something. He's a great guy. I'll definitely look into that then. Well, let's not waste any more time. There are millions of houses to visit after all. Yo, we get to ride the reindeers? This'll be awesome. Just hold on tight. I don't want to have to go looking for your bodies down below. This is awesome. This is just incredible. I mean, we're actually flying on Santa's reindeer. Yeah, not exactly how I expected my night to end up, but I'm not complaining. I love you guys. Okay, don't make it weird, Joe. Ah, oh, you know you love him too, Donald. Yeah, but I'm not gonna just say it while we're thousands of feet in the air flying on some magic reindeer. Well, it looks like it's gonna be a white Christmas tonight. I haven't had one of those in a good while. Let me out of here. Huh? The snow globe? How'd this get in my pocket? Maybe Larry put it there with his magic. The question is why, though? I don't know, but uh, are you all feeling a bit hot right now? Hey, hold on tight. We're flying right over Hawaii right now. Ah, uh, home sweet home. He said Hawaii, not Kenya, Barack. Fuck you, Donald. Hey, look down there. A volcano? Hey, guys, I have a great idea. Wait, what are you doing? See ya, chump. Curse you, presidential zomboys. Hey, no littering. Our bad, Santa. Hey, we're in Detroit now. Crazy how Santa can make his deliveries in the blink of an eye. Shit, thanks for the heads up, Donald. Even I won't fuck around in Detroit without some protection. Can't blame him. Yeah, I wouldn't step foot in that Democrat-run hellhole either. Donald, can we not talk about politics tonight? Yeah, okay, fine. So, have you all thought of anything you really want for Christmas? We already told you, Santa, the only thing we want is to be with our families. Nothing you've got in your bag of toys could satisfy us, I'm afraid. Yeah, I would do anything just to be with Jill and let her know I'm alive and well. Hmm. You know, I'm apolitical, but I really like you guys. I think I can do something for you to make your Christmas a really good one. We have to make one final stop. Okay, what do you have in mind, Santa? It has been a hard year for all of us here in the United States since not only President Biden disappeared, but also his three predecessors. This Christmas Day is a time for all of us as Americans, regardless of a party, to come together and look on the bright side of things. As your president, I promise to... I don't want to listen to that witch anymore, especially on Christmas. She hasn't done a damn thing to try and find our husbands. It's okay, Jill, don't let Kamala put a damper on our Christmas spirit. We're all here together as friends, enjoying the holiday. Yeah, I guess so. I must say, I love your orange dress. 
That's such an interesting color for Christmas. Yeah, it's a bit silly. But Joe would always get his holidays mixed up. He'd usually wear a Halloween sweater on Christmas, so I'm wearing orange as a way to remind myself of him. I think that's absolutely adorable. Thank you again, Michelle, for helping with the cooking. Don't mention it, Melania. I'm just thankful for having you and the other girls as company tonight. Me too. I'm not sure I would have managed on Christmas Eve alone. I mean, Baron's a great kid, but I need my man too. I feel you there, sister. Melania, Michelle, come here. Sounds like Jill wants our attention. Better go see what she wants. Melania, were you expecting company? Someone's knocking on your door. No, I wasn't. It's probably some stupid Christmas carolers or something. Or worse, the paparazzi. Want me to tell them to fuck off? No, it's okay. I'll handle it. Hey, we're trying to enjoy a nice Christmas Eve here. So if you could just... <gasps> May we come inside? What's going on out there? Oh my goodness. Honey, it's really you. Please come in right away. Oh, Joe, I missed you so much. I missed you too, Jill, more than you could ever know. Donald, my love, is it really you? Yes, dear, it's really me. I'm right here. I never want to let you go. Me either. Laura, oh, Laura, I missed you so fucking much. I missed you too, George. Not a day has gone by that I haven't prayed for you to come home. Don't worry, old W is finally home. Oh, Michelle, I can't believe it's really you. I know. It's a Christmas miracle. You won't believe what I've been through to get home to you. Where have you four been all this time? Tell us everything. How much time do you have? It's a long story. You might not believe us. Well, I'm not expecting a simple answer for how you four fell off the face of the earth for most of the year. Good, because it's been anything but straightforward. Honestly, ladies, it's been one hell of a ride for us. Yeah, but thanks to Santa Claus, we get to come home for the holidays. Santa Claus? Joey, did you remember to take your medicine today? Yeah, I knew this would be a pain in the ass to explain. Probably should have started from the beginning and not the end. I think we should wait till the morning to go over everything. Tonight, we celebrate as friends. I am A-OK -okay with that? Yeah, we can wait to inform the media tomorrow as well. I want some privacy tonight. Damn, Donald's gonna get some action for the first time in probably 15 years. Oh, shut up, George. I wish we knew you all would be here. We don't have any presents to unwrap. Wait a sec, look, under the tree. Where did those come from? I did not buy any presents. Me either. Guess old St. Nick gave us more than what we asked for. Ooh, I want to open mine first. Have at it, Joe. Oh boy, a brand new pack of Depends. Thank you, Santa. Oh, there's one for you, Donald. Come open it. Yeah, yeah, out of the way, diaper boy. You better not have cheaped out on me, Santa. No way, a Donald Trump action figure signed by the man himself. Santa, you knew exactly what I wanted. Not in mint condition, but I'm gonna unbox it anyways. Barry, there's one for you too. Come open it. Geez, you two are so predictable. Oh wow, I got a big present. No way, a case of real life grenades. This is awesome. Brock, I don't know if having those is a good idea. Don't worry, babe. I'm pretty much a firearms and explosives expert now. I'll be very safe with them and only use them on deserving civilians. Okay, George, there's one last little present for you. Oh boy, wonder what I got. Ooh, it looks like a video game or something. Maybe it's the new Call of Duty game. What the? The Young Sheldon season one through four box set? Is this because I'm from Texas? Oh wait, there's a letter attached too. Dear George, I hope this letter has reached you quickly. Word is traveling fast around the North Pole about what happened. It's been a lot to take in. The Santa we've been listening to for centuries has been fake. Talk about a mind fuck, but seriously, I can't thank you and your friends enough. And I must say, it was an honor getting to ride along on your shoulder, my friend. Oh, and good news. As soon as Santa returned from delivering presents, he offered me a job at the workshop. I was overwhelmed with pride. I would be the first super small elf in a managerial position. However, I declined, 
See, as I told you all before, my dream is to be a dentist. So, Santa has granted me a scholarship and I'll be attending university in the spring. So if you ever find yourself needing dental work in the North Pole, you know who to call. Your friend, Larry the Elf. You go, little guy. Become the best dentist in the entire Arctic region. Well, boys, I think this has been the best Christmas I've ever had. Damn right. You know what? I'll say it. I love you guys. Love you, too. Remember, next year we'll have to return to our journey, so let's enjoy this peace while we have it. For sure. May God bless you all, my friends, and God bless America. <laughs>